Well, what's up, guys? I'm back with another fucking video. It's gonna be my predictions for Battleground. Say this real quick. I don't give a single shit. I don't give a single fuck about Battleground. I, I really fucking don't, man. I don't give a single shit about Battleground. I really fucking don't. At all, whatsoever. It's in two days. You might be watching this on Saturday. I don't fucking know. Whatever. Well, I'm recording this on Friday. So for me, it's two days. Whatever. But yeah, it's gonna be really interesting to see what WWE is gonna do here with their fucking titles. To be honest, because the brass was this, this is what I thought the brass was for is that because we're having Rusev versus Zack Ryder for that U U USA title, and then we have the Miz versus fucking um uh, what's his name again um Darren Young for for the IC title, and then we have the um, WWE title fucking um Dean Ambrose the former Shield brothers um whatever Dean Ambrose. Versus Roman Reigns for Seth Rollins for the WWE title, you know, and Roman Reigns and Seth Rollins are on Raw, and Dean Ambrose is on SmackDown, and he's holding the title on SmackDown. Rusev, he is on fucking Raw with the USA title, and Zack Ryder's on fucking SmackDown. You guys get the whole point real quick. See, I thought the brand split was for, like, where wrestlers are exclusive just to one brand, and the titles are exclusive just to one brand, too. That's what I fucking thought. But for this pay per view, we're having. Um. People from Raw and SmackDown wrestling each other. So, uh, so if you tell me, man, I don't get, I don't see what was the point of the fucking draft. I, I really fucking don't. But hey, I'm a fucking kidding. Who the fuck am I, right? Whatever, I'm just gonna get into it right away. Yeah, so like I said, it's really interesting to see what WWE is gonna do here. We don't know if the USA title is gonna end up on fucking SmackDown and then the U IC title is gonna end up on Raw. We don't know. We do. We really don't. Whatever. The pre-show, we have Jimmy, um, the Usos, versus Brizango. I like the Brizango, I like Brizango, actually. I think, I think they're a good, I think, actually, I think, I'm heard there's been rumors saying that, um, they're supposed to get a push. So, I don't know, but, I don't even know why we're having this match, to be honest, in the pre-show. Who even watches the pre-show this end days? Who, who really does? I don't really think there has been a fucking build between these two teams. I really fucking don't. But if you, but yeah, so if you, if so, this, so if you're not gonna miss a pre-show, I guess you're not missing shit. So if you're a fucking girlfriend, maybe you want to get a quick fucking before you um start watching Battleground. Just take it slow, you know, take it nice and slow. You're, you're not gonna miss out, and you're not gonna miss out on anything in the pre-show. You're not nothing at all. So just take it nice, take it nice and slow. Tell your girlfriend to give you a nice, clean blowjob or something. I don't know, but just don't rush, you know, to get home, you know, just to watch the damn pre-show. It's not important at all whatsoever. But yeah, it's a fucking pre show. If I had to choose who's gonna win, first of all, I don't give a fuck about it, but if I had to choose, it's Brizango. Brizango, Tyler Breeze, and Violet Fandango. Fandango. Fand! Fuck out of here, man. Fuck out of here, motherfucker. Nice right, cold water, boy. I don't know what the fuck I'm doing, man. I really don't. Alright, we have Becky Lynch versus Natalia. Who honestly gives a shit, man? I'm really, I'm gonna try not to bitch and moan at all in this video, man. I really am not. I'm actually really, I'm tired. But the, I'm honestly most likely gonna go sleep right after this video, so I'm not gonna try and bitch and moan at all whatsoever, man. I'm um, gonna say, who honestly gives a shit about this match? Have we even seen a fucking build to the feud, man? Have we? Come on, Vince. Come on, fucking WWE creative team. Like, have we seen a build between these two women, man? I was about to say divas. Shoot me in the fucking head. I mean, women. Have we even seen these two? I, I think, yeah, they're on Raw and SmackDown, you know? But those only just this week. Like, what about the past weeks? Like, there literally has been no build to their feud. So why should I fucking care about this, Vince? Why should I care about this? WWE creative team. Tell me why should I care about this? There really has been no fucking feud between these two. Nothing to build up from this. Nothing at all whatsoever. So please tell me why I should care, man. I, like I said, I'm not gonna try. I'm not gonna try and bitch a morning, man. Like I said, I really am pretty tired for some reason. That's all I'm gonna say about that. Is that who honestly gives a shit about this match in the first place? There literally has been no build to this match. So I don't know why should I care, and I don't know why we should all care about this fucking feud and this match, or whatever. But if I choose to win, Becky Lynch, the Irish lass kicker, not ass with an L, with an L between. I mean, 
not between, before the A, you gotta go through the PG-13 era away, last kicker, the Irish last kicker, Becky Lynch, fuck the PG-13 era, that's what I'm gonna say about that, but yeah, I want the Irish last kicker, like I said, they have, they have to go through the PG-13 way, so they can have the fucking old six-year-old fans watch it, or whatever, but yeah, I like I like Bing, I like Becky Lynch a lot, man. I, I really do, man. She I don't know much something about her that I just really do like about her. Not that she's hot, even though that's the most whatever. She's not, she's not that hot to be honest. Eh. Eh. She's like, eh. Eh. like literally that's what she is. Eh. That's what that's what Battleground is. Battleground. Eh. Eh. That's what Raw's been to be honest. Eh. Eh. No, Raw's been nothing but fucking sleep fast, to be honest. But whatever. But yeah, if I had to choose Becky Lynch, man, that's what I'm gonna say about that. Okay, motherfuckers. Um, The Miz versus Darren Young for the IC title. Once again, who honestly gives a shit about this match, dude? Who honestly really gives a sh? Who gives a flying fuck about these two in the first place? Who? Darren Young, make America, make Darren Young great again. Fuck out here with that stupid ass gimmick, man. Instead of making Darren Young great again, why not make WWE creative team great again? I said as a form said as a say say this again, man. I'm not gonna try to bitch him more or anything, but the creative team that they have in WWE are nothing but how can I say this in the most nice possible ever, nice most possible ever. How can I say this in the most nicest way ever? Oh, oh. They're a bunch of fucking retards. So I'm gonna say about that. But yeah, why are we having this match, man? I mean, fucking Darren Young won that stupid ass battle royal, which that battle royal, battle royal was was fucking the that was literally the worst battle royal I've ever seen to be honest. At least, at least because those competitors in there were nothing but a bunch of fucking clowns to be honest. But yeah, whatever. Yeah, I don't know. I really don't care about this match. But like I said earlier, earlier is that I really don't give a fuck about any matches in this. Match card besides the Kevin Owens for the Sami Zayn match and maybe the main event match to be honest. Yeah, I, I, I like I said this before. I would I would want I wa I wanted to see the former Shear brothers. Uh, sorry about that. Excuse me, but yeah, um, I wanted to see the former Shear brothers that triple threat match for the for the WWE Championship. I wanted to see that match at SummerSlam instead. Not at Battleground, dude. Seriously, but whatever. Yeah. But yeah, like I said, it's been really interesting to see because the Miz is on SmackDown, but he's versus someone on Raw. So we could see Darren Young take the title away from the Miz, which I don't think that's going to happen. To be honest, because it makes the most, it just makes sense, you know, to have the to have the IC title on SmackDown, you know, and then have you the USA title on Raw, you know. But once again, who the fuck am I, right? Who the fuck am I, you know? But yeah, that's what I'm gonna say about that. Is I don't even know why the fuck we're having Smash, man. I I really don't care about the Smash in the first place. If I had to choose to win, be honest, the Miz, I guess. Cause yeah, it just makes so much. It makes a lot more sense to have the IC title on on SmackDown. But yeah, the fuck, bro. Why am I getting ads, man? To fucking buy G Fuel, bro. I just ordered some fucking tubs of G Fuel. What the fuck, bro? The next match we have Rusev, 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 Machigo. <laughs> I don't know what the fuck I'm doing, man. I, I really don't know. Whatever. Rusev. R Rusev. You know Lana? Um, how, how does Lana say it, man? Dude, his wife, Lana, is sexy as fuck, dude. Holy shit. Whatever. But yeah, Rusev. Rusev. The Rusev. Rusev. Maybe you have to be fucking Russian to say it. Rusev. Rusev. I, I think you have to roll your tongue. Rusev. <laughs> Bruce, 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 Bruce. I don't even know what the fuck I'm doing, man. Rusev versus Zack Ryder for the United States Championship. Once again, who gives a shit about this match? Who honestly gives a flan fuck about this match? Dude, who, who really does, to be honest? The highlight of this fucking match is, like I said earlier, it's really interesting to see what WWE is going to do. Maybe, you know, maybe Zack Ryder can take the USA title back to SmackDown. But the thing is, is that I'm so confused. Why are we seeing a Raw guy versus SmackDown guy? I thought I thought the whole entire brand split thing was supposed to be where wrestlers are exclusive just to one brand, not in two. But once again, I'm a kid, man. Who so who the fuck am I, right? I said that before. I'm gonna say it again. Whatever. I'm not gonna say it again though. Whatever. But yeah, it's gonna be interesting. But like I said, the IC title should be in SmackDown, 
And then UFC title should be in Raw. And I don't see Zack Ryder winning this. I really don't. I see Rusev winning the title. Retaining the title. Because if he loses, it's too early for him to lose, man. L literally, it really is. Like, the, ha the only highlight of this match is that Rusev. It's gonna, it's gonna, I feel like it's gonna ruin his momentum because it's pretty obvious what WWE's trying to do with him is, um, they're trying to make him that monster how he was back when he first debuted, you know, you know how when he was like unstoppable, man, he was like that fucking monster and shit, yeah, that's what they're trying to do with him again, you know, before, it's shown, before he joined the League of Nations and fucking killed his career, basically, almost, <laughs> seriously, but yeah, they're trying to make him basically the same guy how he was back when he first, deb first debuted, you know, that fucking, yeah, whatever. So, yeah, I think it's too early for him to lose. I'm going to Rusev on this. And highlight number two is Lana's fucking ass. I can't wait for her to see her in, that, in our in a, um, other fucking tight-ass dress. So I can just keep staring at her fucking ass, man. That's what I'm going to be doing when, I, when she comes. <laughs> I was kidding. No. Whatever. When she comes. Yeah, so that's going to be highlight number two is her fucking ass. Oh, uh, whatever. Um, yeah, so, if I choose Rusev, but once again, I don't give a flying fuck about this match, too, but I already explained what the only thing that I care about this match is just, um, Lana's ass, and, um, Rusev fucking winning the title back, I guess, you know, because, like I said, you know, it's gonna, if he loses, it's just gonna, it's just gonna ruin, um, the way how, how WWE's trying to make him back when he first debuted, like I said, you know, and I'll, I really, and I really don't see Zack Ryan win this, too, you know, I feel like, since he's at SmackDown, I feel like he will get that push with his, um, tech team partner, um, Mojo Rally. I don't know, I don't know if they're be teaming up, you know, just like how they were back in NXT. You know, I mean, in NXT, whatever, I don't know, I really don't know. But it's gonna be, yeah, whatever. I think, I honestly think that they should team up, you know, so they can get, like, a nice push, you know. Just to add another team to the tech team division. But, yeah. Once again, I'm just kidding, so who the fuck am I, right? Well, I'm gonna get more ads, bro, to buy G Fuel, man. I just fucking did, man. Fuck out of here with this shit. Um... Uh, Alright, next match we have Sasha Banks. Holy shit, dude. Sasha Banks is so sexy, bro. But too bad that she's only into Asian guys. I know, right? I fucking know, dude. She's only into Asian guys, dude. Only into Asian guys. Like the fucking people with their fucking eyes like this, whatever. Well, whatever. Dude. I'm tired, man. I just want to finish this stupid ass video and fucking go to sleep, to be honest. But yeah, I don't, yeah, she said she said it. She sent some on um, Facebook Live thing when I was watching her. I was asking her so much fuck. She was she, she was doing a Q and A whatever, and I I was asking her so much fucking questions, man. It really was, man. I was like asking her, do you have any tips for people trying to be WWE? Do you have any fucking um whatever? I was just asking her so many questions, but she didn't answer her questions at all. So fuck her. I'm just kidding. But yeah, whatever. But she, then she said that she was only into Asian guys. I'm like, eh, whatever, man. Whatever. She's probably been fucked already by Asian people. Wouldn't I? Really, I wouldn't doubt it. The, she's a cousin of fucking Snoop Dogg. She's a cousin of a fucking drug addict, aka weed smoker, Snoop Dogg. Yeah, so I'm pretty sure she gets high with him. I want to, I want to fucking doubt him, man. If you're a cousin with a drug addict, guarantee you that you will be getting high with him. Whatever. I don't even know why I'm talking. I don't even know why I'm talking about that. To be honest, I, I really don't know, dude. I just want to finish the video and go sleep, dude. I'm tired. Whatever. We we won't be having. Like I said, Sasha Banks and her mystery partner versus Charlotte and Donna Brooke. And Donna Brooke is sexy as fuck, too. But, yeah. Her mystery partner. Alright. Alright. Like I said, man. I said that I'm going to try not bitch and, mo bitch and moan. But I, I have to for this one. This one is really important to say. So many idiots were saying and the draft on Tuesday have been tweeting out at WWE saying, WWE! WWE! What the fuck, guys? How come Bailey didn't get drafted? How come, um, uh, fucking, how oh, where's Bailey? Where, where's Bailey? Where's, where's, Bailey? where's Bailey? Blah, 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 blah. And just keeps going on and on and on. You fucking idiots! Stink for once and open your eyes for once, please. You are a bunch of retards. Seriously, man. Seriously, it's pretty obvious what WWE's trying to do with her. It really is. What WWE do? This is what I think WWE should do, and it just makes so much sense. People are saying that to have, um, for Sasha Banks' mystery partner, have Bailey as her mystery partner. No, that's a fucking mistake. That's a mistake, a top of a mistake. Top of a fucking mistake, man. It really is. It is a mistake if you debut her and batter gone, man. I'm gonna tell you why. Alright, so don't be fucking hating, saying, Oh, you're a fucking retard, bro. Fuck you, man. How can you don't want to see Bailey, bro? How can you don't want to see Bailey, bro? Fuck you, man. You fucking suck dick. 
bro. Shut the fuck up, man. Shut the fuck up, because you are obviously a fucking retard, and you don't think at all, you idiot. So shut up for once, all right, you fucking idiot. So fuck out of with that shit. Obviously, I want to see her debut, but first of all, she deserves a lot. She deserves a lot more than a fucking mystery pawn, you know, if that makes sense, you know. If she, if she does debut this Sunday, it's going to be a mistake, number one, because she deserves more. Just... You're just gonna have her debut because she's fucking. Cause Sasha Banks is a mystery partner. Fuck out of here, man. Fuck out of here. No, she deserves a lot more than that. Debut her at SummerSlam. It will be Sasha Banks versus Charlotte for the women's title. Char uh, Sasha uh, Charlotte should drop the title to um Sasha Banks, and then the night and a Monday Night Raw following SummerSlam. Um, the Monday Night Raw like after SummerSlam. That's when Bailey. That's when Sasha Banks should like come out, whatever, with a women's title or whatever. She's cutting a promo, or whatever, and then out of nowhere, have Bailey come out. The crowd would fucking explode, bro. The cl the crowd would explode, and then have Bailey confront uh, Sasha Banks, and everyone would be so excited because everyone knows the history, um, in NXT, you know. So that's when you should have her debut, and then have them fight for the women's title. Have Bailey versus Sasha Banks for the women's title or something. That's how you should debut her. Don't debut her this Sunday. It's a fucking mistake if you do, man. It really is, man. And if I had to choose who Sasha Banks is going to be her mystery partner, Neil Jax, man. Someone just got called off from um, NXT um, to the main roster, you know. Just have Neil Jax, you know. That's what that's what I think. But hey, once again, I'm just kidding. Who the fuck am I, right? Who the fuck am I? So, yeah. So, if you're going to be a retard commenting, there's commenting some bit bullshit. You make no fucking sense, man. Because you are a... Idiot! Cause you don't really use her fucking head, and you are completely fucking blind, man. Seriously, it's so obvious what WWE is trying to do here, man. And I just said it, you know. It really is. Uh, fuck, do you have to? I, have to, I don't even know why I took off my shoe, but yeah. Whatever. Holy fuck, dude! I'm so getting hot, man. I shouldn't honestly take off this sweatshirt. Whatever. Um, yeah. Uh, let's go to the next match. Oh, oh yeah, oh yeah, who, oh yeah, like, uh, who, uh, and if, who I think had to win this match. I want, like I said, I want Nia Jax to beat Sasha Banks' mystery partner. And who I think should win this match. Mm. I mean, it's not for the women's title, so I would, honestly, maybe, maybe Charlotte, no, well, no, not Charlotte and Diamond Brook, no, 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 no. If Nia Jax, if Nia Jax, if Nia Jax is, is, um, fucking Sasha Banks' mystery partner, and then have Nia Jax and Sasha Banks win, so Nia Jax can have her first one, you know, in the main roster. I mean, at her first pay-per-view, basically, yeah. So, yeah, that's it. Or maybe have Carmella as a mystery partner, you know, we just got called up. Or maybe Alexa Bliss. Alexa Bliss is fucking... Oh, my God, dude. She is sexy, man. Oh, my God, dude. But whatever, yeah, but instead of having those two girls have Nia Jax as a mystery partner, and she can... Get her first one, you know, she'll look, she look strong, she'll look good, you know, and Sasha Banks will, will look good and, like, fucking, she'll look good right next to Neo Jax, too, you know, whatever. So, yeah, that's what I, that's what I see. Next match. New Day! New Day! Versus the Wyatt Family for a non-title match. It's not, a, it's not for the tag team titles at all. I love the New Day, right, man? Everyone loves the fucking New Day, man. Booty, they make sure you ain't booty, man. Make sure you pre-order your fucking booty, man. Cereal, and it's the real now. I, I know, right? I can't believe it, dog. We has our own fucking cereal, man. I know, it's um, it's pretty unbelievable. I mean, it really is, actually. Fuck, dude. Like I said earlier, man, is, um, imagine just having fans fucking eating the booty, man, during, uh, during Monday Night Raw or SmackDown or whatever. That'd be... That'd be actually pretty kind of weird, you know, you see fans, like, when you're watching it or whatever, and then you just see some fucking little kid eating cereal, bootios, I don't know, I find that kind of weird, I'm, I'm I'm pretty sure that's gonna be happening now, to be honest, dude, but whatever. Holy shit, dude, it is fucking hot, dude, because we had, I had, um, my parents had the AC on, you know, so it was pretty cold in my basement or whatever, in my room, but now they have it turned off, so it's, holy shit, dude, it's really, and it's hot out here in Wisconsin, man, oh my god, it is fucking Holy shit, man. It, dude, this is how hot it is. Hotter than, hotter than fucking Eve Marie, Kelly Kelly, Kim Kardashian, Nicki Minaj, fucking, um, Kaylin, AJ Lee, um, fucking, who else, man? Alexa Bliss, um, Donna Brooke, Sasha Banks. It's fucking hotter than all of those women. That's how fucking hot it is. I know, right? Unbelievable, man. I know. I know. I, I don't believe it, but it's fucking hot as fuck out here, man. Holy shit, dude. But whatever, yeah. The New Day vs. Y Family for a non-title match. 
Um, at first, I didn't like this feud at all whatsoever, you know. But it was really interesting how Xavier was, the way how he was acting, you know, how he was scared of Bray Wyatt, you know, the way he's been acting, whatever. But yeah, I love the New Day, like I said. But if I, but once again, why, why is Strowman teaming up with Bray Wyatt and Eric Rowland? Because Bray Wyatt got separated from Eric Rowland and Bray Wyatt, you know. So why is he teaming up with them? But once again, I'm just kidding, right? So who the fuck am I? I thought I said, I said already. I thought the Jets was for where wrestlers are exclusive, just to just to one brand. But Strowman's teaming up with Wyatt family, even though he got separated separated away from them, you know. But once again, who the fuck am I, right? Who the fuck am I? But if I had to choose to win, I think the Wyatt family, man, I think they deserve a, I deserve, I think they deserve to win. If they, if, if the New Day lose, it's not going to do anything to them at all. It really isn't at all, you know. It's pretty obvious what WWE is going to do here. Obviously, SummerSlam, we will have the New Day versus Enzo and Baycast. And the New Day will drop the titles to Enzo and Baycast. You know, and the crowd will explode, man. These two teams are fucking hot right now, dude. So imagine you have them in a feud. Oh, my God, dude. So it's pre yeah, it's pretty obvious what do what WWE is trying to do. You know, they're saying trying to save that match till fucking SummerSlam. You know, or the feud or whatever. And then yeah, you, and then you have the New Day drop the titles to Enzo and Midcast. You know, but yeah. So like I said, I have to choose why I found them for this. You know, because I feel like they they deserve like a win. You know, um, and they they look good. You know, I guess you know. I'm mean, not really. I don't know. But yeah, you guys get what I'm trying to say. You know, is that they kind of deserve the win a lot more a lot more than the New Day to be honest. But yeah, but once again, I'm just kidding, so who the fuck am I, right? Our next match, Sami Zayn versus Kevin Owens, which is literally going to be the highlight of the fucking match, to be honest. Match card, to be honest. Kind of, eh. I, don't, I don't know, whatever. Sami Zayn versus Kevin Owens, I can literally see these guys going on every week, man, dude. Seriously, bro. I love these guys, man. Sami Zayn and Kevin Owens, man. Um... I don't know, man. I, I this match gonna be amazing, man. These guys are always in the feud, but it's it, they always keep it fresh. To be honest, man. It's just I never get tired, man, of seeing these guys fight, man. These guys are just these guys always put out a good sh a good match, man. Every time every time they're fighting each other, man. Just cause of how they how how the history is, you know, how they've been fighting, you know, each other for like a long ass time, you know. It's, I don't know, man. Their matches are just amazing, man. I can, I can literally see these guys go on every week. Thank God they're on the same brand, I believe. Yeah, 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 they are, you know, so, yeah, hopefully we keep seeing more matches of these guys, but apparently it's a last match, apparently, uh, but honestly, I don't think it's going to be their actual last match, I think it's going to be their last match until now, because Kevin Owens, he will have a run with the WWE Championship, and when he does, I feel like the next person will be in line will be Sami Zayn, you know, so I feel like this is going to be the last match, and then, right after Kevin Owens does win the WWE Championship in the future, and then you have them. Feud, you know, that's what I think, but once again, I'm a kid, so what the fuck am I, right? But yeah, if I had to choose how to win, I, I love Kevin Owens, man. You guys know about that. He is literally, he's my top three favorite wrestlers at the time, at the moment. It is fucking, it just, it is Seth Rollins, AJ Styles, and Kevin Owens, man. All fucking heels for some reason, whatever. I, I like heels better than baby faces, to be honest, but yeah. Kevin Owens, man, he is a great fucking heel, man. He is a, he is an amazing heel, man. It's, it really is unbelievable, man. He's his his character, man, his look is just fucking phenomenal, man. I just I fucking love Kevin Owens, See, and, and and I love Sami Zayn too. But and who I who I also love Kevin Owens. I also I would go for Kevin Owens. But yeah, think about this logically: is Sami Zayn kind of deserves to win a lot more, you know? I feel like he does, you know. Just to I don't know. I I feel like Sami Zayn just really does deserve to win a lot more than Kevin Owens, you know? But yeah, so if I choose, like I said, Sami Zayn, I'm going for, I'm going for Sami Zayn this one. Seventeen. Seventeen. All right. The next match we have um John Cena. John Cena. John Cena and Enzo and Bayhans versus the Club, the Club and Age of Styles. Once again, why? Why are the the what well, for the people who don't know is that the Club Anderson and Gallows got. Like separated away from Age of Styles, you know I don't mind that. I don't mind Age of Styles being on his own on SmackDown, and then Enzo and Gallows are Enzo and Gallows. Fuck out here, man. G Gallows and Anderson are on Raw, you know. So why they're teaming up, you know? And I'm not, I'm not gonna, and I'm, I'm not gonna keep explaining. I'm um, explaining of what I thought the draft is before. I already said it before, whatever. But yeah, whatever. Yeah, the club are on Raw, and Age of Styles is on fucking SmackDown. You know, so I don't know what they're teaming up, but once again, who I'm kidding, who the fuck am I, right? But yeah, but honestly, 
it's going to be really interesting, this match. Finn Balor, right? He got drafted to Monday Night Raw. And Anderson and Gallows, they're on Monday Night Raw now. And AJ fucking Styles is on SmackDown. Could we see the debut of Finn Balor? Maybe we can see Finn Balor come back. And everyone knows his history between him, between um Finn, ba well, Finn Balor and Anderson Gallows. You know, everyone knows how they were part of the Bullet Club. And back in New Japan Wrestling, you know how fucking Finn Balor was like the leader, and then he left. And as soon as he left, AJ Styles came in, you know, and he was a new leader of the Bullet Club, whatever. But yeah, yeah, um, but yeah, everyone knows the history, everyone knows, um, well, the casual fans don't fucking know, you know, like, they're all eight-year-old kids, and they're fucking hot-ass, um, mom, and they're hot-ass sisters, you know. The casual fans won't know at, at, at all, but, like, you know, you and I, we fucking know, whatever, but whatever, yeah. So, we could see the debut of Finn Balor, and he could be attacking maybe AJ Styles. You know, and then he, and then then we and then he forms the Balor Club. Anderson and Gallows joins Finn Balor as the Balor Club. You know, and hopefully, yeah, and and then and then you just keep away, and then you just keep AJ Styles away from them. You know, and hopefully later on in the future we can see AJ Styles join them. You know, later on in the future, that would, that would be pretty awesome. But yeah, I feel like we could see the debut of Finn Balor finally. It's make it makes so much sense. You know, I mean he. He did get drafted to Monday Night Raw, so he is coming to main roster obviously soon, right? Since yeah, since he's on Monday Night Raw now, but yeah, well we could see him debut at ba at Battle on this Sunday, guys. We could see him maybe attack AJ Styles, like I said, you know, and then you know, and then then he then he takes um then he teams up with Anderson and Gallows since they're, since all three of them are on Raw, and then they form the Balor Club, you know. We could see that, but. Honestly, if I were choosing to win this match, I really don't know, to be honest with you. I really don't know, because uh, it's pretty... If WWE does bring in another world title, man, if they do, I feel like I feel like they do, man. I feel like I want them to, because I feel like it's going to create a lot more stars. It gets a lot, a lot more opportunities, to be honest, you know. And they really do need it, because SmackDown literally has like, no fucking titles at all whatsoever. They, they only have the IC title and the WWE Championship so far. But Dean Ambrose obviously is going to drop it. It's, it really is obvious. So they only have one title, you know. It, and Monday Night Raw has... So many fucking titles, bro. They have the tag team titles. Um, I believe the women's title is Charlotte. Is Charlotte on fucking Raw? Yeah, yeah, she is, right? Yeah, yeah. The women's title and the cruiserweight um title, which is only exclusive, exclusive just to Monday Night Raw. And they have the wait, they have the USA title, tag team titles, and they will have the WWE title, and then they have the women's title. And Raw SmackDown's only gonna have one IC title, so. Once again, I'm just a kid, right? So who the fuck am I? Oh yeah, and then they have the cruiserweight title on Raw too. Was only exclusive, you know. You know what? Yeah, but yeah, it was only exclusive. But yeah, so yeah, so if I choose that one match, it's pretty yeah, obvious. If WWE does bring it into another title, what they should do? This is I want to say exactly what JD from New York said is that we're after this match. Um, have the right after this match happen, you know, keep John Cena and AJ Styles away from each other as much as, as much as possible. And introduce a new world title, and and for the next couple of weeks, have a tournament. You know what? It, either it's eight man, twelve man, sixteen man, whatever it is. But have AJ Styles and John Cena in that match. You know, but don't make them versus each other like early. Put them in the finals. You know, and put them in the finals. And 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 in that SummerSlam, you can have. We're right after um H South and John Cena meet each other again, you know, in the finals if they, if they do have a tournament, you know, for the WWE title, or whatever. Uh, yeah, make that match at SummerSlam and have H South and John Cena versus each other for the for the new title, you know. That's what that's how. Yeah, I mean, I that's that's what JD from New York said, man. Uh, that would actually be perfect perfect idea to do, actually. You know, it really is. You know, keep them far away from each other right after the, right after this match. You know, make a fucking tournament, and yeah, and then. Put them, make them two, um, last to like the fucking finals, and then yeah. But if I had to choose to win this match, um, and um, I'm gonna go with Enzo and Big Cass and John Cena. To be honest, I feel like, I feel like they're gonna win. Because I feel like if Finn Balor, like I said, I feel like he will debut, and then he will be, and then he will fucking attack AJ Styles, and and then Anderson and Gallows gonna obviously help him out. To be honest, and then they're gonna fucking attack. Yeah, yeah, yeah. So they're, they're just gonna attack AJ Styles, you know, and then. Fucking, they're gonna have, and then John Cena's. Oh, hopefully, they're gonna have fucking big cast pin. Our, our, our. I just hope that H Styles just doesn't get pinned in the first place. I, I, I don't know. I'm, like, I'm just going with Enzo and Big Cast to be honest, and John Cena. But yeah, next match, 
that we have is finally the fucking main event match. The return of the drug abuser! Yes! Roman Reigns returns, man. We're after being gone for 30 days for his fucking WWE suspension, boys. For drug for fucking drug violation or whatever he got. Fuck, he filled the drug test. Only the little kids will be excited and their hot-ass sister will be excited, man. Their hot-ass sister will be... Or whatever, yeah. Roman Reigns returns or whatever. Um, it's gonna be the former Shield brothers. Um, Dean Ambrose versus Roman Reigns versus Seth Rollins for WWE Championship. WWE Championship. I don't see Dean Ambrose winning this title at all. I really, I really don't, man. It doesn't make sense to have the like once again. Dean Ambrose is on SmackDown. Roman Reigns and Seth Rollins are on fucking Raw. And uh, I think Dean Ambrose will drop the title not to Roman but to Seth Rollins because Roman Reigns, like I said, man, he does not deserve the title right now. I said this plenty before. I said this plenty. I've said this plenty of times, man. He needs to get punished or whatever. And the first thing that I would write about is about trusting him. Can you trust him again? He was their top guy. He was the leader of the, of the fucking company, basically. And he fucking fucks up and embarrasses the company. You know, so can you trust him again? So, yeah, that's my question, whatever. But, yeah, they will have Seth Rollins win the title. And I think that's almost like we, we will have Roman Reigns versus Seth Rollins. I think that's what's going to go down, you know. And hopefully, from hopefully we're after this. Hopefully, when Dean Ambrose drops the title, we're after Seth Rollins. We can, um, he, maybe he can, maybe he, he can introduce a new title, maybe, I don't fucking know. But, yeah. But, yeah, that's what I think, you know, I don't think Dean Amos will win this match at all. And I think Seth Rollins will win the title, you know, he will get his fucking title that he never lost. He never fucking lost the title, but he had to give it up because he got injured. His ankle, anybody watch that video, how his, how his knee was, or his leg, it was like, when he landed, it went like this. Oh, so, it was so gross, man, it really was. Oh, dude, I came, uh, it was so gross to watch that video. It really was. The way how he landed, you know, when he did a one flip on Kane or whatever. When he, his leg fucking bent. Oh, dude, it was so fucking disgusting. Oh, oh fuck that shit. Oh, shit, shit hurts. Whatever. Yeah, but it was so disgusting watching that video. Ugh. Fuck, dude, that was, that was so gross, man. And now, since I'm thinking about it, I just have that video playing in my fucking head now. Oh, dude, it's so fucking disgusting, dude. It really is. But yeah, that's my predictions for this Sunday, you know. Uh, if you have anything to say, I guess comment down, you know. Um, and yeah, that's my predictions. And I'm all, I'm going to sleep. I sound tired as fuck. And I'll be back with another video tomorrow on Saturday. Well, right now it's like fucking 10.41, you know. By the time I upload this, we'll probably be like 12 to be honest. I don't know, but whatever. But yeah, um, I ordered, uh, I ordered some G Fuel, by the way. I, I ordered Tropical Rain and Watermelon. And since they're, they're on sale, you know, it was 40% off. You use the code of beast to beast but that, which the code ends tomorrow on Saturday. Saturday? Sat, sat, I can't even fucking speak, man. I'm a fucking retard. Whatever. I don't know why I pissed off, dude, dude to be honest, dude. But yeah, I'll order those two tubs, and since since they're, since they were still going on too, if you want a tub, you get like three um, packs, you know. So for one pack, I got lemon lime, and another pack I got fruit punch. You know, one of my well, one of my PS4 friends, you know, Obey underscore Isaac, I believe. Yeah, that's the name. I told him that um, which one's better, fruit punch, lemon lime, and fucking what other flavors? Oh, and um, and watermelon. You know, he said all of them are good. So what I did is just bought. I got two tubs, I got watermelon as a tub, and tropical rain as a tub, and I'm also getting three packs of lemon lime, and water, and um, watermelon, yeah, yeah, so, so for the tubs, I got fruit punch, I believe, yeah, yeah, I got fruit punch as a tub, and tropical rain, yeah, but yeah, so that I, w I will be having an unboxing video of that this week, so look out for that, you know, that it should come in by like, Monday or Tuesday, maybe, but yeah, hey guys, I'm for, that's something for the video, you know, Comment down your predictions, I guess you want to say, or comment down who you think is going to be Sasha Banks, Mystery Partner, you know. I guarantee you, man, it's not going to be Bailey. Like I said, it's some fucking mistake, man. It really is a mistake. But knowing the creative team that they have in WWE, bunch of idiots. That's all I'm going to say about that. But yeah, guys, I'm out. If you like the video, I guess like the button. If you haven't subscribed yet, I don't know what the fuck you're waiting for, bro. I, I really fucking don't. I, I don't know what the fuck you're waiting for, bro. I really don't, man. I really don't know what the fuck you're waiting for, and I'm out.